Hi folks, welcome to today's Bible study with Ed Boston. We are doing this today in place of a sermon that uh, we normally record from Good Shepherd Worship Center. However, with the extreme heat today and the fact that our air conditioner just won't keep up, uh, we canceled services at service time. I went up and looked at the thermostat in the sanctuary. It was a sweltering 93 degrees. Uh, it was still 91 degrees last night at 9 o'clock with the air conditioner having been run for several hours up there and uh, just had to make the decision that uh, it was not going to be able to do the job that it needed to do. Uh, for those of you watching this that uh, may attend Good Shepherd Worship Center, uh, we'll be back next week at our regular time, 2 o'clock Eastern. Uh, we'll be back on our Facebook uh, live feed uh, with the sermon. And we'll see what goes on with this Bible study and see what about doing additional Bible studies uh, here on our YouTube channel. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this day. And thank you for the blessings in life that we have. Father, I thank you for the technology that has been brought into existence and the way we can use that technology for your benefit, Father. Help this Bible study today to be appropriate worship in your eyes and help it today to um, benefit those who watch and listen. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers, being there for us at all times. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, for Bible study today, you can see it there on the screen. Where is Jesus? The foot of the cross And this Bible study is done by uh, none other than Billy Graham. It's brought to us from that. Uh, the key verse from the beginning is from Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men which, by which we must be saved. What is the ultimate victory of the cross? That it could not hold the Savior of the world who triumphed over sin and death, winning salvation for mankind. The resurrection story of Jesus Christ is what gives meaning and power to the cross. What a failure Christianity would be if it would, could not carry our hopes beyond the coldness and depths of the grave. You see, the resurrection means the salvation of our souls. What does the resurrection mean to you? Many have never thought about it. Some believe that Jesus died leaving a legacy of do good to your neighbor, never believing that he was raised from the dead. Others think the resurrection was a hoax. There are those who question whether Jesus even existed. And let's scroll down. True believers in Jesus Christ have no doubt that he lived among us, died for our sins, and after three days was resurrected to life, conquering the sting of death, offering the human race the greatest gift, his sacrificial love. Now I want to interject in there. Notice the first two words, true believers, and then go on to the first five words, true believers in Jesus Christ. You're not a true believer in Jesus Christ if you have any doubt that he lived among us. You're not a true believer in Jesus Christ if you have doubt that he died for our sins. You are not a true believer in Jesus Christ if you doubt that after three days he resurrected to life. You are not a true believer in Jesus Christ if you doubt that he conquered the sting of death and you do not, you are not a true believer in Jesus Christ if you doubt that he offered the human race the greatest gift, his sacrificial love. Now that doesn't mean you can't be a true believer. 
that doesn't mean that you can't be on your way to being a true believer. But there should be no doubt amongst those things. If you're in your Bible, reading your Bible, if you are doing the things that you need to do to be a true follower and true believer of Jesus Christ, you will have no doubt of those things listed. Several years ago, an entertainment network carried a story on the Billy Graham Library, highlighting it as a point of interest in the city of Charlotte, North Carolina. The show's co-host, Christy Villa, arrived on the property along with her crew and was met by a colleague who explained what visitors might experience while there. She drew the journalist's attention to the many crosses displayed, including the 40-foot glass cross through which visitors enter the building. Halfway through the presentation, Villa said with a sense of awe, I see all the crosses, but where is Jesus? The colleague smiled and said, He's in heaven, and he is also present in the lives of those who believe in him and follow him as their personal, personal Lord and Savior. The journalist threw her hands around her face and exclaimed, Oh, that's right. Some worship a crucifix, but Christians worship a risen Christ. After a moment, Villa said, I have been in church my whole life, but I have never heard the emphasis put on an empty cross. An empty cross. Many times we see Jesus on the cross, but that's only half the story. The full story is that the cross now stands empty because Jesus came back. Jesus, get, after giving his life and being buried in a tomb, came back to life, leaving that cross empty forever. Many people, including some who claim to be Christians, do not fully grasp the impact that the crucified and risen Christ makes upon the human heart. How do I know this? Again, this is Billy Graham speaking. I'm not Billy Graham. The Bible study is his. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to clarify that for some people who, who may be new. Uh, because there is no charge, ch I'm sorry, let me say that again. Because there is no change in them. Have you asked yourself, what do I believe about the empty cross and the empty tomb? And, and that is another key point there. Billy Graham says they don't fully grasp it because there is no change in the way they are. If you fully grasp the empty cross and your claim to be a Christian, then there will be a change in your life. Ask yourself this, what do I believe about the empty cross and the empty tomb? Let's scroll again. The foot of the empty cross is the ultimate destination in life. Your acceptance of Jesus' sacrifice or your rejection of it determines your future life. If you do not believe that Jesus died for you, then you will remain the same, being gripped by sin and dying by its penalty, with certainty of eternal judgment in hell and banishment from God. But if you believe that Jesus rose from the grave, achieving victory over the cross of death, and you accept that he paid your penalty, you will never be the same. The empty cross is full of hope. Let's go ahead and scroll while we're at a new point. The cross represents doom for sin and hope for sinners. It condemns sin and cleanses souls. The cross is where Jesus was crucified in our place and where Christ brings resurrection and life to mankind. The blood-stained cross is gruesome to some, but the empty cross is full of hope. Let me say that again but the empty cross is full of hope. Satan, overly eager to thwart God's purposes, overstepped his bounds, and God turned what seemed to be life's greatest tragedy into history's greatest triumph. The death, the death of Christ, perpetrated by evil men, was thought by them to be the end, but his grave became but a doorway to a 
much, much, much larger victory. The resurrection empowers faith in Jesus Christ. If I did not believe that Christ overcame death on the cross and bodily rose from the grave, I would have quit preaching years ago. I am absolutely convinced that Jesus is living at this moment at the right hand of God, the Father, and reigns in my heart. I believe it by faith, and I believe it by evidence found in the Scriptures. Luke, a physician and disciple of Christ, was one of the most brilliant men of his day. He made this startling statement about the resurrection in the book of Acts. He presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs, being seen by them during forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. That comes from Acts chapter 1 verse 3. Those infallible proofs have been debated for two thousand years. Many people have come to know the truth while they tried to prove Jesus' res resurrection a lie and failed. And I, I know that there are many examples of people and that is how they came to believe in Jesus Christ. They were trying to prove that the resurrection was a lie. And when they got into things and investigated and found the truth, they gave their life to Christ. Others ignore the facts recorded in the best-selling book of all time the Bible. As we get ready to close this short Bible study, I want you to watch this video, The Reason for My Hope. It's short, it's just a, an excerpt, uh, and it's from Billy Graham. Let's go ahead and switch it over to YouTube and watch it in full screen. to a lot of people, not because I've read the Bible, not because I've gone to church. I'm going to heaven totally and completely and solely because of what Christ did on the cross. I'm going to heaven because of Christ, and you can go the same way, because you see, we're saved by grace. the invitation of the whole Bible. Come to the cross, and let's go back to our Bible study page. Uh, this Bible study comes from faithgateway.com. You can link to that by going to Bible Gateway. Dot com and go into the study area and you got to follow a couple of links uh, and you can get to the Bible study series. What we'll try to do is at least occasionally put a Bible study on our YouTube channel and try to build that up to where we have a series of Bible studies. This one we did a kind of a general study of a specific topic. Uh, if you would like to 
request a specific Bible study, maybe a, a book in the Bible or a topic in the Bible, you can email me at ed at edboston.com and I'd be happy to uh, do some research on what it is that you would like and give you a shout out and and credit for asking that we use that topic and, and that set of scriptures. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right now if you're watching on YouTube. We would love to have you as a subscriber. You can also go to edboston.com, follow us in there, as well as um, you can scroll down about a third of the way down the page. Uh, on the right side, there is a place to subscribe there to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you, and go out and do the right thing.